Hello everybody, in this video I will show you how to paint a Ragnarok spider. I started building the model from cutting off the abdomen of the spider from the frame. I assembled it and covered it with grey primer. Then I assembled the goblin's nest. I painted lower part of abdomen with graveyard earth. Next step was highlighting with khaki. I painted nest bestial brown. I masked lower part of abdomen and painted upper part with mix of scorched brown and distil brown. As a base color I used bestial brown and then painted dark areas with scorched brown. This is how the model looks like. I painted spider webs with mix bleached bone and fortress grey 50-50. Goblins are painted goblin green. I finished painting spider parts. Painting legs, I wanted to make uh, strips of pale and dark paint. When I saw effect of my work, I finally decided to add bleached bone to all parts and paint spider crest on abdomen. Uh, inspiration was a common Polish spider. I made stencil for painting abdomen. Stencil is applied. It's important to make point where both parts of stencil will stick each other. I fitted it on the line between parts of the abdomen. I painted bleached bone along stencil and snake bite leather below it. After removing the stencil, model looked like. Unfortunately, movie with painting crest on the abdomen is damaged, but painting was very easy. I just cut off the holes in a paper tape and used it as a stencil.
I painted skulls with bestial brown, highlighting it to bleached bone. It's how skulls look like before wash. Last work before wash was highlighting the nest. I used mixed graveyard earth with khaki 50-50. I added to this mixture glaze medium instead of water to achieve semi-transparent finish. I washed the lower parts of abdomen. I used black brown wash prepared with glaze medium. As a base I used black and scorched brown. It's how the model looks like after wash. I glued legs to the body. I highlighted edges of the carapace. I applied black brown wash. Meanwhile, I highlighted goblin skin with yellow paint and then added dark green wash. Dark green wash is based on dark angels green. This is how ready to assemble model looks like. Painting the eyes, I started drawing very thin line in lower parts of each eye. This line will boost illusion of depth in the eyes. Final assembly of the model.
final washing. You may see the difference between leg already washed on the right and not shaded on the left. I painted eyes with black clear paint. Of course, it's not actually black. It gives soft shade and glossy finish. Finished eyes look like. You see the lines because you know they are here. But if you don't know, they are hard to spot. Human eye sees the depth and glossy surface. I prepared base with aligned pieces as a rugs. You may see more in my basing tutorial. Before applying the white glue on the base, I marked areas where I wanted to leave surface without sand. It may be useful if there will be a need to glue model to the base. I painted bestial brown dry brushed elf flesh, then I applied the static grass and over. model is finished. Thank you for the watching, please comment, rate and subscribe.